so now let us do these questions uh, i may have covered some of these questions before but uh, we are going to cover them again so if you have covered some if you can do these questions and you can skip this part so the first question is design a dfa which accepts only those strings which start with 1 and end with 0 over summation is equal to 0 comma 1 over summation is equal to 0 comma 1 so let us do the first question now it is saying that uh, we have to design a dfa for the strings which starts with 1 and ends with 0 that means every string for example if you have a string for example w then it can be 1 w1 0 such that w1 belongs to a comma b star right so what does it mean that every string should start with 1 and end with 0 and this w1 can be anything the length of w1 can be 0 the length of w1 can be 1 2 3 4 and so on right so let us uh, try to draw it so we are going to have an initial state this is an initial state right so every string should start with 1 every string should start with 1 then we'll go to the state b but if a string is not starting with 1 that means if a string is starting with 0 that means this should not be accepted we are going to reject it completely okay now after getting uh, this one we can have any number of ones or any number of zeros we can have any combination of ones and zero so what we can do is we can have any number of ones but as soon as we get we get a zero we assume that the string is going to end and then we go to the state number c we make it as a final state and whatever number of zeros which we, we are going to get after here then we are again going to be at the state c because uh, if we are getting zeros then obviously the string is ending with zero but if we are get, at getting at least one one that means again we are going to go to the state b because we will assume that the, st the string is not ending with zero so what i mean to say here is assume we have we can take some random strings some random example of strings for this case assume we take the string as one zero one example we take the string as one zero zero another example we take the string as one one zero we can take the string as one zero one zero we can take the string as one one zero zero we can take the string as one 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 okay this string is not present in the language but these strings are present in this language you can see all of these strings are starting with one all these strings are starting with one and ending with zero starting with one 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 and ending with zero so all the above strings should be accepted okay so let us take the first string one zero if you give one here then we go from state a to state b after reading the zero we go from state b to state c so it is accepted so this first one is accepted if you read the second one so after reading the first one we go from state a to state b and from this zero we go from state b to state c from this zero we again we are again at the state c so this string is also accepted if we read the third one one zero from state a to state b from second one from state b to state b from this zero state b to state c now if you read this string so it is one zero one zero one zero again we are getting one and zero again after reading the complete string we are at the state final state in the last case if you read the last string from the first string we are going from state a to state b and from all the subsequent strings we are always be stuck at state b if a string is starting with zero for example if you have zero one zero one zero then if a string is starting with zero then we are from state a we are going to state c and this string is completely rejected so this is the dfa which is uh, accepting all the strings over 0 comma 1 which are starting with 1 and ending with 0 okay now let us take the second example in the second example they are saying design dfa with string which accepts odd number of ones which accepts odd number of ones in any number of zeros that means we are putting a limitation on one and we are not putting any kind of limitation on zeros so take this example odd number of ones in any number of zeros that means what are the strings which can be present in this language a string which is one zero can be present if it is not visible string which is one zero it is present why it is present because number of ones are only one which is odd string single one is present 
string 010 is present in this language string 0010 is present string 1000 is present and so on that means uh, in the, we can have one single one or any number of zeros any combinations of zeros and one but uh, the number of ones should be odd we can also have 1110 1011 we can have 0111 we can have 1101 we can have 0001 0011 we can have any number of zeros and ones right so but the number of ones should be odd so here the number of ones are 1 number of ones are 3 number of ones are 5 number of ones are 7 and so on so only odd number of ones are accepted now in this case let us draw the dfa initially we are at state a and if we are at state a that means the number of ones and number of zeros both are actually zero okay now if you give a single zero to this doesn't matter because we are not counting what are the number of zeros we are only counting the number of ones so if you give a single zero then we are straight at the straight a if you give a single one that means the number of ones are odd so we'll go to the state b which is a final state okay now at state b we can have any number of zeros because whatever number of zeros which we are going to give we are not counting any zeros right so as soon as we get one more one we are again coming back to state a because the number of ones are even now what i mean to say is for example if you have a string which is 110 now in this case by seeing the first one we are moving from state a to state b by string the second one we are moving from state b to state a by string the zero we are staying at state a and you can check the number of ones here are even now the number of ones should always be even in this case for example uh, sorry number of ones should always be odd in this case to accept to, for the string to be accepted for example if you take 1111 now again you can check the number of ones there are even that means that string should, should be rejected so if you take this from straight a from the first symbol from straight a we have make a transition from straight a to straight b by reading the second symbol make a transition from straight b to straight a by reading the third symbol we make a transition from straight a to straight b by reading the fourth symbol we make a transition from straight b to straight a after reading the complete string we are at straight a which is not a final straight therefore the string is rejected so if you get any string where the number of ones are odd you can check any combination any random combination for example we have 1011101 number of ones are odd now this string should be accepted if you take any string where the number of ones are odd doesn't matter what are the number of zeros we will always accept it for example by reading the first one we are moving from state a to state b from zero from state b to state b from one from state b to state a from one from state a to state b from one from state b to state a from the zero state a to state a from this one state a to state b you can check it what i mean to say is if we are at state a by looking the first one we will make a transition to state b by looking the next zero we make a transition to state b to state b by looking the third one we are going from state b to state a by looking the fourth this uh, this symbol fourth symbol which is one so we are moving from state a to state b by looking this symbol from state b to state a by looking the zero state a to state a by looking the last one from straight a to straight b now after reading the complete string we are at a final state straight b is a final state therefore the string is accepted therefore the string is accepted so this is very simple we have already done this now let us do the next part